Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. I'm so glad to um, be here with you tonight uh, and sharing tonight's card. I'm pretty psyched about it. I really like it. I hope you guys do. I went a little bit more on the simple side than maybe I normally do. Um, but things have been a little crazy around here, so uh, <laughs> time is of the essence. So here's a look closer look. If you are on, just give me a shout out to let me know that I am live in the right place and that I am live. Um, it's, always, it's always a fear of mine that I'm like live in some random group somewhere and they're kicking me out because <laughs> um, I'm in the wrong place. Okay, thanks Amy. Hi, hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this Wednesday evening. I'm really excited to be here. Um, Here's my card tonight. It uses a brand new, uh, well, technically I'm just using the stamp set, although it does come in a bundle, um, to, uh, excuse me, from the 2021 uh, January to June mini catalog. I'm trying to grab it here in my drawer so I can show you the front. I can't show you the inside yet. Here's the beautiful front cover. It's so pretty and it gives us a little sneak peek of the art gallery bundle. And I used that, I think, what, a couple weeks ago or so and a couple times on my blog. Um, tonight I'm using another set. This is the, hold on, give me a second here. It's underneath everything. The Friends Are Like Seashells a stamp set. This is huge. Look at all these images that are here. There's 23 images in total. That's that's a lot. And really just some sweet sentiments. You know me. I love my punny sentiments and uh, sweet images. So we have a birthday sentiment. Um, I'm so happy I found you. Wishing you the very best. I like that because you could do the happy birthday on the inside and then wishing you the best. I mean on the outside and then the wishing you the very best on the inside. Um, friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. I always love a thank you. I'm always looking for a good uh, thank you uh, sentiment and some just other really great ones. And we have some fun seashells. Now you would think these are kind of small, but they're actually quite large. It says the images are shown to 75%. So like this guy here is actually him. He's quite big you know, compared. So they're really well-sized images. And uh, I think you're going to really get a lot out of this. This is part of a product suite, although I only got the bundle. I didn't get um, that particular designer series paper yet um, or whatnot. Oh, I did. I can show you this. Although I'm not using the dies, uh, these dies in particular, I will show you them. So uh, they coordinate with the seaside seashells dies. I don't know about you, but that is such a tongue twister. Oh my goodness. I can't say that fast. So <laughs> that's them. I'm not going to attempt to say them again because, whoo. Okay. Here's the dies. We have this big guy here and uh, in the suite, there is an embossing folder that actually coordinates with this die. So um, what you could do is you would cut this out and then stamp the different images and then emboss it. And then it's like a trio. It's like cuts and stamps, cuts and embosses. So really fun that they all coordinate together. And then we have some standalone dies that of course coordinate with some of our uh, stamped images here. So you're gonna want the bundle. You'll save the 10% off, which is always a little per a nice little perk. Um, so friends are like seashells, uh, bundle. Okay. Let's dive into tonight. I kept my cards. Oh, I just realized I cut my card stock wrong. Oh, well, <laughs> um, uh, I kept things kind of, um, simple today. I have to admit I was playing with, uh, the different images and how I wanted to place them. And I was a little bit all over the place. So this was the final product. Um, but I did like stamp this guy. I started with a bigger piece, but then I thought, I think there's a smaller one and I did find one that works. I stamped him and I thought maybe my original thought was to do something like this on the card, but I didn't quite like it. Um, then I was like, well, maybe I'll stamp this image and we'll do like that. I mean, I was all over the place, but I'm showing you to give you an idea of kind of what some of the other uh, stamped images look like and other options that you have. Again, this is kind of where I went, but my brain went everywhere. I knew I wanted to use bright, colorfuls, colorful colors, <laughs> bright colors. Um, so I was playing with the Magenta Madness. I stuck with the Mango Melody and Coastal Cabana. Coastal Cabana, yes. I always want to say Calypso Coral. I do it all the time on my live videos. So if I call this Calypso Coral, please ignore me. It is Coastal Cabana. I am for sure going to say it wrong. Um, but in the end, I just stuck with this. And then just like the pop of the 
the black here. So let's start. Um, I cut my cardstock wrong. I wonder if I have, let me just see if I have another piece already cut here because if not, maybe I'll cut one. I just realized I cut mine. Let me cut one um, correct. I cut it this way and it needed to be cut the other way. I wasn't thinking, so just give me a second here. I can do this super fast. I just got to score it. How is everyone tonight? Is everyone ready for Christmas? All the presents bought and wrapped. Okay, there we go. Boom, that's what you need, not what I showed you. Um, okay, so this is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a, um, yeah, four and a quarter. Okay, that's the correct. If you wanna do how I did it, that's the measurement I use. Some people, I always have my cards fold up, right, up, but some people do prefer them to open side. So depending on which way um, you want your card to open, Okay, so mine would be five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Then we're gonna crease that. Now, we're going to make this really fun background. With all the seashells in that stamp set, I thought, I'm making my own background. I had kind of played with some other ideas. Um, there are two like seaweed images and I kind of played with those. Uh, but in the end, I went with kind of making my own pattern paper. And this is really, really easy to do. And I actually like to do this a lot with different sets. The, um, what's it called? Lovely You. Yes, the Lovely You stamp set is another one that's just really fun. And it makes really great background um, paper. <laughs> You'll be ready for Christmas the night before. Oh my goodness, Heather. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas and Heather was still wrapping her presents. <laughs> um, okay, so when you're making um, your pattern paper, I kind of, me personally, I either like to start on one side and like make my way over or start in the middle and like work my way out. Um, otherwise, you're like, it's hard to get images to fit and, and whatnot. So I'm going to be stamping Coastal Cabana on Coastal Cabana. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna start with the largest of seashells. I'm only stamping this one once. Of course, you could do a whole pattern, pa pattern paper, <laughs> that's another tongue twister, um, of just this one. You could just stamp it all over the place, but I kind of wanted a variety and there's so many to choose from here. Um, so I'm using this one, this one, this one, and which one is this one? This one. Which one? Oh, that one. I'm like, where is he? This one. So this one, this one, I'm using four different seashells. Happens every year. Hysterical. That's so funny. I am, everything's bought, everything's wrapped, and everything's not packed. Um, we're actually, I'll, I'm going to say it at the end of my video, but we're actually going away uh, for Christmas this year. So everything had to be bought pretty early on. <laughs> When we decided to go, I didn't even have everything bought yet. And it was, thank goodness for Amazon, let me tell you. They saved my life. <laughs> no, uh, no joke. No exaggeration. Okay, so there's the big one. Um, and then now I'm just going to kind of see how things fit. I think I'm going to sort of follow my example just because everything seemed to fit really well. <laughs> but honestly, you would just play with the different C size seashells. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Um, until your whole cardstock here is filled. And the nice thing about this uh, stamp set in particular is that we have larger size seashells and then we have a few of these small ones which are nice because they can kind of fit in the cracks and crevices that um, might be a little challenging to stamp. So I stamped in the middle and I'm gonna sort of make my way around and make sure you have some kind of hanging off even though you don't see that image but you want to um have it all around bought and wrapped i am i am jillian i i don't even know what to say <laughs> it's a pure miracle guy it's mostly because we're going away i didn't have a choice although i was pretty much almost bought everything was done but um yeah yeah it's all done the last gift was wrapped today just because it was kind of a last minute one um, for my in-laws and so we had to make sure that was bought okay so I'm sort of following my example like I said here just because it all fit I don't know how I did it but it did so I'm making my way sort of around this guy here and of course this is going to be mostly covered but I still want to stamp it because I don't know exactly 
you know, where, where everything's gonna, oh, no, I think I like it the other way better. Where everything's gonna fit. Oop, I got a little something on there. And I have to say, I love the starfish. I love starfish in general, though. They're one of my favorite, um, impressed. Uh, it's not really something to be, I mean, I really, the, my hand was forced, honestly, because we're traveling, so don't be too impressed. <laughs> I didn't have much of a choice. Um, okay. And actually, we come, if you really want to know, we actually already kind of sort of celebrated Christmas. Our kids have already opened like 75% of their gifts, um, funny enough, just because we're traveling and so we can't like bigger items had to be opened ahead of time I said I only stamped this once but I'm actually gonna stamp him twice because I think he would fit nicely down here we'll see <laughs> I'll stamp it and go mm, I probably should have just done it once no actually that fits okay and then I just want another guy I think hanging off sort of over here again this is gonna be pretty cut off because um, my sentiment goes right there and I think we're done How's that look? I feel like there's a little empty spot up here, but I'm not quite sure. Let's see here, what can I use? If I did that, no, that's too huge. Um, I think I'm just gonna tap the bottom of this. Can I do that very? Ooh, wow, that was close, but it worked. Okay, so that's what we're left with to make your own pattern paper. Again, I love to do my own, oh, I'm gonna do one more. I love to do my own pattern paper. Actually, I probably would do it a lot more, but then I find that I do it a lot. <laughs> so, um, okay. So again, this is my full card front here. So we're going to, oh, I didn't get my adhesive out. Um, kind of need adhesive. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. I almost put that down. Okay, don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have, my brain is just a hot mess tonight. So <laughs> don't adhere it yet. I actually embossed it to give it a little bit of a texture. Um, just to add a something like a little extra to the card. Instead of just, I mean, this would have been fine. I actually, you know, it's pretty. But I liked the idea of adding just a little bit of texture to it. So I pulled out my favorite embossing folder, which is somewhere here. There it is. I use it all the time. It has been well loved. The subtle embossing folder. It is a six by six embossing folder. And what's great about this is that it's a really, I mean, it's called subtle <laughs> because it's just that. It's a subtle embossing folder. So it's not like in your face texture. It's just like a very nice, um, just subtle. <laughs> I keep saying that word because that perfectly describes it. So I'm just gonna, oops, hold on. Let me get that in a little bit further. And I'll show you. Oh, I keep moving it. Don't move it. Okay. And I'm going to run it in. Yes, like shells under the ripple of a water. Yes, that's exactly. Yes, good. I like that, Karen. It almost You almost make me sound like I did it on purpose because of that. And I did. No, I didn't really. <laughs> but that's, that's a great way of putting it. So see that? It's not just really pretty. I don't do it often, but when I see embossed, stamped images like they're really pretty i enjoy them so that's what i went with oh. actually you know what i'm gonna use liquid glue because there's so much texture on this do, 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 do. so in light of us traveling abroad for christmas if you are signed up for my uh, weekly email you would have heard about this already but i will be out of the country for the next three weeks so um, that means no Facebook Lives. I'm so sad that I won't be on for a while. My husband was funny. He's like, do you think you could do your lives like from Peru? And I'm like, I'm not packing stamp stuff. <laughs> so, so I will miss you all. And I won't be on for the next um, three Wednesdays. So we will meet again after the holidays. After the holidays, after New Year's, and we all have you know, time to come up for air. <laughs> okay, so here's where we're at. Now we're gonna like sort of work on, on this area. I used the rectangle or stitched rectangle dies. I love them. I'm like using all my favorites tonight. And just cut out a simple piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures, gosh, it's just shy of one and seven eighths by three and a quarter. It's just shy of that. And oh, I gotta clean 
gosh, that's all I need is to put this right into my Mango Melody ink pad. That would be really bad. I did that live once. Um, gosh, it was like one of the early ones I did. The big question is, when are you mailing those new catalogs? They, I got them in yesterday, Lynn, and they should be going out any day. I actually have a teammate of mine helping me, so um, I think she's gonna she's gonna get on it. <laughs> so I got them in yesterday. I handed them off to her today, so they should go out any day now. Um, so I don't know what I said. I totally lost track. I'm going to stamp this. Oh, I did that live. Oh, my goodness. It was so embarrassing. I'm like, do, 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 do. And I didn't re, I didn't clean it. And I just went into another ink pad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was bad. Why do I feel like this isn't the right size? Or is it just really tight? No, it's just really tight. I'm like looking at it going, whoo, that's really tight. And sure enough, it's really tight. It just fits. This is Mango Melody. <laughs> it's a good one, Lynn. You're going to, it's worth the wait. It's worth the, um, the anticipation of getting it that and um the celebration which by the way let me tell you is pretty awesome this year so if anyone is considering placing a hundred dollar order or just place um becoming a demo this is a great time to do it during celebration in addition to um for just 99 dollars, you get the 125 dollars um in product and then you get five full packs these just came the other day of uh, designer series paper in, in five color families that will be in the 2021-22 annual catalog. So this is like super, super, super early product that you will receive for free. This is at least the $50 um, value here in your starter kit. So $99, you pick $125 worth of product. It ships for free. And on top of that, you get these five full packs. These are full packs of Color Family Designer Series paper for free. Huge. And these aren't the current ones. They're the ones that will be current. So, like, demonstrators um, don't even have these yet. Well, I mean, we could order them, but they're not in any catalogs yet. <laughs> oh, exactly. Hopefully it won't travel to North Carolina. I don't know how that happened. What was it? Was it the annual catalog, Lynn? Or was it this past one? They all went to North Carolina, even the local ones, um, to me. I couldn't believe it. I checked on the um, tracking, and they were all in North Carolina. And then they had to come all the way back up to New York. I don't know. <laughs> and with the shipping the way it is right now, I mean... I hope you get it by the end of the year. No, just kidding. I mean, I hope you really do. <laughs> um, okay, so I matted this up on a piece of Mango Melody uh, cardstock. This is a little interesting, and the measurements are a little funky for this, I'm going to admit. So it's cut two, which is normal, by, and it's like a little bit more than three and a quarter because this rectangle isn't like a super normal measurement. Um go to cut it your mango melody two and then go a little bit longer than three and a quarter and um it should be a good mat for you um okay so let's put this on our card front and then we'll do our sentiment and ribbon and we'll call it a day okay i'm kind of putting this in the lower bottom right hand corner and i just realized i never got the ribbon out hold on let me grab it okay there we go do our sentiment for your sentiment basic black cardstock just a, a piece of it i'm stamping the love you to the beach and back i just think that's a really fun sentiment i can't wait to use that on a scrapbook layout um, actually all these images i think would be really fun and i'm cutting it out with a circle from the layering layering circles dies i think they're called and uh, this measures, oh, it's like just bigger than one and a half inches. That's the one I'm using. So let me get everything I need. Bossing powder. Okay, so white embossing powder, Versamark ink. Um, I'm like, where the, I saw the dye back there. I'm like, I'm going to lose it if I don't move it. So we stamp in the Versamark ink because it stays wet longer. It just gives us time to sprinkle the embossing powder on it. And be generous when you sprinkle. Boop, boop, boop. I like to flick the back of it a little bit and then kind of wipe up any splotches. 
and then we're going to just grab your heat tool and heat it up. Get everything out of the way here. Okay. Heat so that it goes from, hold on, there's just a couple specks I want to get off. Come on. Whoops. Okay. There we go. It goes from uh, powder to a nice shiny white. That's how you know you're done. Oops. Good. And then um, I just gotta move things around. Hold on here. <laughs> I have to switch out my plates because I'm not embossing anymore. I'm gonna cut. Okay, so, and then this one fits like perfectly. It's like a perfect size. So I'm just gonna run that through my die cutting machine here. Like so. And again, this is, oh, I don't know if I, it might have shifted a little bit. Eh, I think we're going to use it. Um, this is all product that will be available in that uh, 2021 January to June mini catalog. So it's all in here. Uh, it will go live beginning January 5th. So as a demonstrator, I can pre-order it, which I did. And uh, customers can order it beginning January 5th. If you want to pre-order it as well, um, uh, you know, now's a great time to become a demonstrator as well. So the ribbon I'm using is, I think it's called Playful P <laughs> Playful Pets um, ribbon. Let me just look it up quickly. I have my catalog sitting here. Number four, Playful Pets. Yes, it's a combo pack, but I'm using the black and white um, twine here, which is like kind of perfect. I like when I do um, bright colors to have a pop of black. It kind of... It just, I feel like it pops even more, um, com like with all the bright colors. So, oh gosh, wrong one. Oh, <laughs> I put my lid on. Oh my goodness. And I'm just going to put, um, adhesive everywhere and then, um, kind of wind it in my hands because I want it to kind of go this way. So I'm going to do it and then flip it. So I kind of get the. You know, I want it to go where I want it to go. No, nope, not like that. I want it more in the corner. And that's the thing is if you're not getting the right um, look that you're looking for, you just pull it off and start over again. That's the nice thing. This adhesive will hold everything down, but it's not too tacky that you couldn't pull it off if you wanted to. Like, I think it's a little too big. So I'm going to make my loops a little bit smaller here. And then try it again. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I want one going one way. Can I do it? I want one going one way, and I'll trim that a little bit. This one's still a little big. Let's see, which one is that? Hold on. <laughs> You're just going to play with it. Honestly, it's not as hard as it looks. It's just I'm being fussy. I'm trying. I'm being particular. I want, because I have a small circle, I don't want the loops too, too big. There we go. That's better. And then give it a haircut. Probably trim it a little bit more still, but we'll start with that. Okay. And then I adhered it. Um, because there's so much, you know, this twine really adds a lot of depth to it. So if I have something like this, I usually adhere it down uh, using Stampin' Dimensionals. Just because it ends up being so lifted up anyways. Um, I always use, oh, you're so sweet. It's very kind of you, Rachel, because you have an eye for design for you to, so for you to say that, I, I thank you. Um, we're going to go with a dimensional on either side. These are regular ones, like so. And then kind of put it, I think in my sample, I think I want a smidge higher. So I just have to, it's going to, oh, well, oh, I see what I did. Oh, this is funny. I put it on this one, like they're, they're flipped different ways. <laughs> oh well I guess depending on how you stamp it is um you know what I would recommend it's funny I did it backwards tonight but like for my example I stamped and then cut it it probably would have been smarter for tonight in order like to save having to cut something I cut and then stamped but you know it'd probably be best if you stamped and then cut it because then you can kind of get like the placement of the cardstock and everything that you wanted I'm just gonna give a slight haircut to this guy and him too just a little bit okay so that's the outside love you to the beach and back super super sweet 
And then because I've been stamping the inside of cards, I don't know what has happened to me. I never stamp the inside of cards, but I've been doing it lately. Just like a simple touch. <laughs> Nothing like over the top or like super in depth, but just like a little detail on the inside. Before you know it, I'm going to be stamping... Um, I'm going to be stamping the envelopes. <laughs> oh, I got to get there. I got to get there. So this time I used the sand dollar. I love sand dollars. As a little girl, we would always go to Maine. Um, I almost said for Christmas, not for Christmas, for vacation. And um, we would always find sand dollars and starfish and, and whatnot. So I just, I don't know. There's a special place in my heart, I think, for those two seashells in particular. Um, so I stamped the sand dollar just in the corner. Actually, there's a little, I like that little, you see that little indent? I like that. So let's make sure we show that just like that. And there you have, it. I'm going to adhere that to the inside. And, um, so some of these could work together. Like the friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Love you to the beach and back. They could work together. Like you could put that one on the outside and this one on the inside or vice versa. I just didn't. I'm going to leave it, especially um, as uh, this will go to one of you guys. Um, I wanted to leave it kind of blank on the inside. So anyone, you know, you could use it for uh, a different occasion. You could put a different sentiment if you wanted. Um, but look great. Oh, 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 Heather, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> the envelope de decorators. I'll get there, Karen. Maybe. I don't know. One thing at a time. I'm just starting to stamp the insides. Um, <laughs> so well, one thing at a time. Small baby steps. <laughs> um, so that's tonight's card. Very simple. It comes together quickly. Honestly, the thing that takes the longest is stamping the background here and you could just use one seashell and it would go a lot, lot faster um, as opposed to alternating them and, and whatnot. But um, I like the variation. I like the texture in it. Um, I like the embossing. So yes, definitely like a simple card, um, but I still think it's it's pops, especially with the Mango Melody on the Coastal Cabana. So um, thank you everyone for watching. If you are interested in receiving uh, one of the 2021 mini catalogs, if you already are a customer of mine, it will go out in the mail. Um, if you're in need of one, let me know and I will make sure I get one out to you. Just keep in mind, I won't be here for the next three weeks. I will miss you guys for sure. So um, be on the lookout for when I come back. I'll definitely post that I'm going to be on. And um, if you'd like an opportunity to win tonight's card, just quickly leave a, a comment here. Um, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to throw all the names in a hat and one of you will be tonight's uh, lucky winner. So thank you everyone so for joining me. I won't speak to you beforehand or like do a Facebook Live. So I wish everyone has a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, I'll see you when I come back. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.